Hey there, welcome back to Building a House from Trees. Uh, thanks for tuning in. In this week's episode, I'm going to be dropping, well, I dropped the tree in uh, last two weeks ago's episode and dragged it out of the woods while there was still snow. We've lost a lot of snow in two weeks. But I got the mill back here, uh, which is really exciting, and I do a little bit of milling, mill out some specialty uh, two by three, 10 foot two by threes, which are going for over ten dollars a piece now and i mailed out 24 of them out of one log and then i mill uh, and then i use that you know that that two by three material to frame uh the back wall of the uh, the stairwell wall of the guest bedroom so that's what's going on in this week's episode thanks for watching and thanks for all the likes and comments i really appreciate them and we'll see you out there bye All right, milling in the evening. Sun's setting, but it's still a nice afternoon and still got a couple hours of daylight. This is a feature I like quite well. I put in this little bridge here, and although I have a well with water, uh, I can get water, nice clear water for free right here to fill up the uh, watering jug for the mill. Nice, fills right up.
I've just milled all the two by threes that I need for the demising wall, kind of the main one wall in between the master bedroom and the stair and the office and the hallway and all that. And uh, out of really just one log, a bunch of two by threes. And I'll, I'll get to why I'm milling two by threes suddenly, just for one wall and you'll see. I think it's a clever solution. Who knows if it is. But uh, I realize might as well just get them all all up under that second story while I got the lift and got everything going. Instead of carrying them up all by hand, I might as well hoist them up with the forks and then slide them off all at once. Let's see if we can pull that off. say that is a good few hours good couple hours of milling got a wall milled out and saved 240 bucks it's crazy lumber prices make this little operation worthwhile two by threes oh it's gonna be fun so I I wanted to present uh, preserve being able to see these knee braces, I mean, there was a lot of work to get this joinery, you know, done. And uh, I want to be able to see it, you know, in perpetuity without burying it in a wall. So I milled out of that one really big log earlier in the video, um, I think 24 two by threes. So this wall along here is going to be two by three. So two inches, two inches wide and three, well, two inches by three inches. It's a two by three. Uh, and the purpose of that is it'll go up here, this is four inches wide, it'll go up here and run right along there, I'll have a nailer up there and that'll give a half inch on each side for the sheetrock and that, uh, the knee braces will be preserved and the wall will be plenty thick. Put some uh, half inch, or put some fiberglass insulation in there for sound attenuation and I'm going to frame in the transom window in here, so let's get going.
So as I'm getting further into this project, I'm, uh, I'm having to do a lot of research and learn a lot about like plumbing, septic plumbing, and weird kind of internal framing. And it's gotten me thinking about this week's video sponsor, which is Skillshare. Um, <clears throat> the reason it has is because I've had, like this whole process has just been an ongoing learning process for me. And you know, building a house from trees from scratch it's really difficult. I've had to ask a lot of questions and a, from a lot of different people and check out a lot of different resources online. And that's why I'm so interested and you know excited to be partnering with Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people, just like generally the type of people, frankly, that are watching this channel. Uh, this is a fantastic opportunity to explore new skills and get lost in creativity while expanding your wealth of knowledge for people of all skills and all levels of curiosity. So, as I mentioned before, I really wanted to learn how to use SketchUp. And I've been taking in just little bits of time in between, you know, editing or, you know, doing billing or whatever uh, on my computer. I can just kind of jump into these classes and it's really easy to just pick stuff up. So I've been taking SketchUp for beginners, how to create your first 3D house from scratch with SketchUp, taught by Alex Dunojevic. In just a few short lessons, I begin to run my head around what was previously daunting to me about this program. I'm really looking forward to being proficient at it, and I'm confident that this program is going to get me there. Um, the first thousand of my subscribers to click in the link in the description below will get a free trial of premium membership, so you can begin to explore your creativity and start to get wicked learned like I am really enjoying this program. So thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and I really encourage you to check it out and check out that, uh, click on the link in the description below and get a great discount on an awesome learning opportunity. So back to it. Great, this is the back wall of the guest bedroom, kind of the office, you know, tall ceilinged, glorious other room. And I've got the six, uh, seven foot by one foot transom window going in here. And it's really nice. It's nice framing with two by three. It's solid wood. Uh, it's really clean. It's super straight. I know that, what, two days ago, three days ago? And it's kind of fun. It's, uh, I think this is going to work. I think this is going to work really well. The idea that I had with the, um, oh, getting the sheetrock right footed up to there. So that's, uh, that's going to be great. I've got nailers all the way around, and then I'm going to see entirely, uh, the, of course, all that framing will be buried, which is kind of a shame because it's really nice wood, but uh, you'll be able to see the knee braces. And then I'll put you know, stained glass or different piece of wood or something in there. Uh, up in the knee brace triangle, so something to keep it interesting. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, lumber prices are crazy. This is definitely uh, incredibly economical. I'm going to do a work trade. I'm going to spend a couple days milling with the owner of the mill uh, next week, the week after. You know, I've got a week of uh, carpentry coming up, paid work. So I'm going to be, you know, off the job site here, onto another paying job site but again thanks for watching and we'll see you next week or in two weeks probably yeah thank you bye bye